Welcome, and my name is Katerina, I'm a garden designer and in this video we're going to talk about effects inside Lumion, like fire, fog, smoke, etc. See you next! Welcome to another video from Garden Design Tools. So we're going to talk about effects for your projects. And what I mean by effects is not effects in, in terms of um, adding special uh, sh sharpening effect or something like this in your images. I'm talking about effects like uh, fire, smoke, fog, sound, effects that you have inside Lumia that you can add to your models that really... Um, enriches your models especially if you're thinking about animations okay so fire is great uh, for rendering images as well but there is things like smoke uh, like fog that you can add to your models that they'll make it really great um, especially in animations so let's talk a little bit about uh, some effects we have um, so I'm just as you can see here this is a um, a project of mine uh, and I'm close to the sea so what I like to add and this is uh, just to show you um, the first effect is sound so inside Lumion you have quite a few sounds so you have like coffees if you're doing urban scene And there is some websites you can source sounds, but um, I'm not sure. Um, it's still something I, I'm I'm not sure that if you if you are able. I don't think at this moment you are able to upload sounds. You have to do it as a, a post production thing. Um, So I like to add this effect and what's cool about it you here you have volume you have minimum distance so I'm gonna put a little bit and maximum distance what this does is if you're taking a closer if you go closer so you start listening You start listening the sound so I might put a bit a bit closer because if you do an animation um, if you if for example like in this case the model is close to the to the beach uh, it would be really cool just to be able to listen to the to the sea so I'll put a bit closer to the but this is one of the cool things of Lumion and as you can see if you're doing an urban scene um, you can easily um, add effects so that's pretty cool if you're doing a scene here if it, and if it's real of course you don't, don't exaggerate like the way it is inside the house but it's pretty cool to have this kind of sound when you're doing an animation so this is one of the effects I wanted to show you but you have here a special tab called effects. I'm just going to put down the volume a little bit so we can during the video. If you double click, so what effects you have inside Lumi? You have uh, water effects that uh, in fountains and um, water walls like fountain wall uh, fall so you have quite a, a lot of effects i like to use them for example in this case i could use this in infinity edge pool you could use here something like this forget to press shift if you want to go slower so you can start seeing how you can create something um, you can put the water pressure up or down extra color if you want something a slightly more 
realistic so as you can see here you can start seeing see, and you can go in length so if you with a few adjustments you can really go through so you can see here and depends on the cases of course you can really start seeing something here okay let's see now what's the length mm. no way it's going there so as you can see but this is some another effect that lumion has which is pretty cool it just needs a few adjustments don't forget to press shift if you want to go a bit smoother in terms of adjustments because sometimes it can be quite quick to to adjust anyway i just wanted to show you guys i don't want to start modeling now but as you can see here, some adjustments are pretty cool, especially if you're doing a, 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 an image after from the side, the rendering from the side. It's something to consider using this uh, water effect, this um, water uh, wall fall. Something like this. You have always a thumbnail in the person just to give it a bit of scale. Okay. And you have fountains. Okay. You have fountains. I've showed in a previous video something like this and you can randomize it and uh, don't put don't see so much foaminess and so much color being a bit more discreet as you can see now you see a lot of white and always test it out during the rendering okay because sometimes it might look too unrealistic here but you will look okay in the rendering so another effect it's fire and I love it I love for the fireplace of course for your fire pits in the garden um, I think it's pretty cool I like to especially for example something like this you have an outdoor fireplace you can add something maybe I, I normally in the garden I use the smaller one just if you're simulating a fire or something like this and you can always um, customize it okay so you have the brightness can be a bit and you have the particle count okay so you can be quite discreet in the size of fire so as you can see it can be quite a discreet solution It's a bit difficult sometimes to do. I'm just going to do. And you, you see the when you're selecting it and you're moving around, you can see the, the green area. It's the area affected. Okay? Because of the movement, sometimes it might be difficult to see, but you can see the, the affected area. I like to put it a bit small in the garden because you won't normally see, see such a big flame but this is pretty cool especially in animation but uh, the fire you can use it a lot in rendering in the in rendering uh, still images as well so you have different types of fire and you can change color as well okay As you can see here, different effects. Okay, smoke. I normally use smoke, of course, in the barbecues. I use a little bit of smoke like I used here. Um, you can see it. There's this bit of smoke coming out, but maybe there's too much smoke. You won't do so much smoke. But I like to do it um, for the barbecue areas, for example, or for the chimneys. okay something like this for example of course there's different colors in here different colors as well 
and density i always put a bit down the density okay I have column size if you want to be a bit more up brightness but i think that's pretty cool that's an extra effect again just to give it that touch of um, um, a realistic effect to your to your uh, garden especially in animations because you're going to see the smoke you're going to see the cloud movement the smoke i think that's really important um let's explore another effect so in the smokes you have different smokes different colors and in each one you can change the color as well fog in the fog you have dust for example if you're doing some desert landscape something like this you have fog okay steam i like to use steam that's what i use normally or water dust um but water dust i normally use for the for the pool or for um let's see Let's try it on. But again, this is something that's going to be difficult to see. It's just like evaporation kind of. But this is a bit too much. Or oh, it's like it's windy and it's um, blowing a bit the water. So let's go with density really down. So it's always better to be... Um, lower than higher don't make the effect in a way that's completely unrealistic okay so that's something to consider and i like to use steam for example in the spa that i know is hot water and i use it here already as you could see okay so that's pretty cool to play with with the shadows for example that's pretty cool to play with. Okay, so in an animation you can see and it plays with the, with the shadows and you can see the smoke here. So fog, uh, steam, uh, um, fog you might you might use it especially for example if you're doing um if you have a forest a woodland area uh if you're doing this morning shot uh, a low fog in the in the shot is really cool so it's the little details but i really like it um uh, again uh, it works really well in the in the in the rendered image but it's really in the animation that they really come up so and you have another effect like leaves again i'm not using leaves here because i don't have a, a specially wooden area but i'm just going to show you you have uh, leaves blowing in the wind so again imagine that you're doing a, a woodland in your project or you have a, a forest or a, it's um a detail okay but it's pretty cool what i like to use it's not in the effects area but i consider it a kind of effect in the plant area is when i have grasses as you can see here i have the dandelions flying in the air and i really like it it gives it just this touch and uh, there is another one that i will consider an effect even if it's in the in the nature uh, library it's the butterflies so you have the dandelions here as well you have butterflies as well which is pretty cool i really like them they are a bit too much to concentrate it but if you're thinking about in a shot or if you have a really um flowery bre uh, bed uh, in your garden in your garden project if you really want to show that it attracts um, butterflies, uh, that's pretty cool. And you have this one, and this is more a bit of disgusting. It's flies. So, you know, if you're trying to show something as well with a lot of flies in, you have this. So I consider this like three butterflies, the dandelions, the flies effects as well, but they are in the nature uh, library. So, yeah, that's what I wanted to show you. Do you have some other this is things that I consider them totally accessory to the to the to the to your project, but it just gives that little touches 
if you're thinking in doing something, it's like twigs, just to, to create a scenario, let's say, okay? Um, so sound, you have his own, uh, call, his own library, okay? And instead of after just coming here and, uh, and search for it, I'll, I will um, suggest that once you select the ones you use the most, Heavy rain. One, uh, just add the star and it's always in your favorites because you have quite a, f a lot of sounds. So instead of just going and searching all the time. Um, and after, of course, in here you can do the same. Okay, just add your favorites to the one you're using. Um, but yeah, so you have the water, the fountains, uh, fire, you have smoke, and you have fog, that you have dust, um, steam, uh, and water dust, and uh, fog. Okay. So I hope you like it and I hope you can see a lot of potential in this effect, especially, of course, if you're working with fire pits in your garden, uh, even barbecues, you know, just keep putting that little touch of uh, smoke coming out of the barbecue. And uh, what I find is that these flames, even this is all the smaller, smaller fires, but the flames are a bit too big for a barbecue. So I only use the, the smoke. Okay, um, I will not use the, the fire in normal barbecue area, uh, but smoke coming out of the chimneys and things like this, it really gives that little touch to your renderings um, and Lumion is great for that. Um, so I hope you enjoy it and I'll render some images to show you in the end of the video. Uh, Lumion 10 is coming out. Uh, I showed in my last video the teaser. So some people were saying that they have because they had some leaves uh, blowing in the wind but you already have leaves like i show you here blowing in the wind so one of the the one of the updates that i'm almost sure that's coming up is ray tracing is a technology used for uh, retracing light um, sunlight and the way it projects against surfaces and and it's amazing the quality um, let's see how that if that changes at all the workflow or the speed uh, we used to working in inside Lumion uh, hopefully not uh, so yeah I'll keep you updated uh, they didn't say a, a date yet to when the um, the new version of Lumion was coming out but um, yeah I'll keep you updated with all the, the news that uh, as soon as I know them and um, we'll be updating all the courses of course after that so see you guys in the next video mm -hmm.